great performance for Florida. But all night, Alabama junior Ashley Miles has been putting up the big numbers, and she is leading the all-around competition at this point. Looking back at that great bar routine, the big dismount. Ashley had a 9.875 there. Then on vault, where she's ranked number one in the country, has had a perfect 10 so far this season. That one gets a 9.9. And that great explosive floor performance where Ashley had a 9.95. Looking to finish it off here on beam. And Lori, this is the event that she added this year to make herself an all-around competitor. She has competed for the Tide on the balance beam in the past, but this year she is a consistent addition to their lineup. Ashley told me it was a goal of hers to be competing in the all-around this year. She's a national champion on vault and floor. Now she wants to hit some of those all-around goals as well. And she's won the first two that she's competed in, so I'd say she's off to a pretty strong start. Such an explosive, powerful athlete. And sometimes that can hinder your performance on this event. It requires stability and calm presence. And it also requires, like I've said before, a lot of numbers, not only in the gym, but in competition, to learn your, your body and how you deal with the pressure. a very confident athlete and I, I think and believe that the more that she competes on this event the better that she is going to become she is so competitive and a huge dismount here a double back not many in this competition and she struggles with the landing had that big height that we're used to seeing on her floor routine there but can't quite hold on to it when she gets down to the mat at the end of a 90-second beam routine, you really need a lot of repetitions of this dismount to know exactly how much oops to put into it. For now, that will be the drop score for Alabama. You're right, Loria. 9.625, their lowest so far. Can Florida make up the difference? Well, as we expected, this meet going down to the last couple competitors for each team. Brienne King for Florida is one of the last gymnasts to compete. She's fourth in their rotation, so still a couple more to go after her, but she really needs to get a big score here. As we said, Florida comes into this rotation behind. They need to make up some points. Opening with a whip, immediate two and a half twist. She increases the difficulty on that tumbling pass by adding the whip, the no hand back handspring, before the two and a half twist. And this is where I think we can really see some of that increased difficulty paying off in higher scores. Second tumbling pass, a double twist. Pretty solid on the landing once again. Donna Fain told me that Brianne always competes with calm confidence, and that is so important, not only in her consistency, but it's also important for her teammates to know that, hey, Brianne's going to hit almost 100% of the time. But Rhonda also told me that this year she's really starting to come out of her shell and show off a little bit of that personality. And this is the event that she can really show off her flair. Third tumbling pass, front tumbling, front pull to a front pipe. Gator chomp to finish it up. Clean, strong routine for the Gators. They need some scores here. Opening tumbling pass, you see her tumbling onto what's called a sting mat. They are allowed to land on that for safety reasons. But you can also see the chalk lines in the corner there. That is a must or there will be a deduction. What a great score for Brienne King. Ties her career high with a 9.925, but take a look at that, Lori. Oh, what originality. That is a triple turn done in a down low wolf position and it's named after Taryn. It's called the Humphrey, as you might guess. And Taryn Humphrey is We've told you is an Olympian, two-time silver medalist, and she is ranked number one in the country. And on more big difficulty right there in her tumble series, a full twisting back handspring into a back handspring layout. Most of the athletes here just do a plain back handspring, back handspring layout. Taryn told me that she did decrease some of her difficulty in her routine. At the collegiate level, they certainly do not need that higher level of difficulty that we're seeing at the Olympics and World Championships. 
They're competing week in and week out. There's no need to do the huge difficulty, but this is the most difficult routine of the night. Well, and in her collegiate debut, Taryn got a 9.95 against LSU in this event. So difficult, a triple turn in that low position. Excellent job, almost a smile on her face. <laughs> yeah, you know, her teammates said that even their jaws drop when they watch her do that move. It's just incredible. Well, that'll do it for Alabama in this rotation and in this meet. They receive a 48.975 in rotation number four, but Savannah Evans is going to have to put up a big score for Florida because earlier in this rotation they had a fall. Deductions, that will be their throwout score, and now the pressure's on Savannah. Absolutely. A lot of weight on her shoulders. Now she needs a 9.75 or better to win this meet for the Florida Gators. Opening with a front, double full, nice landing. Big smile, lots of character. Big one and a half to a front layout, gorgeous landing, really feeding off the energy of this crowd. All three of Savannah's tumbling passes are front tumbling, but she gets some fantastic height. Savannah is a specialist on vault and floor, the two events she competed in tonight for Florida. A disciplined athlete came to Florida as a walk-on, but earned a scholarship. Quite an inspiration, and now she is the final performer for the Gators with the competition on the line. Tremendous pressure. Here, taking a couple deep breaths here, getting some oxygen to her muscles. Very important tumbling pass, front full, front tuck, not a problem. This will be a big score. Will it be over 975? We'll have to see. Opening pass, a front double twist, nice height, but you do see the cross of the legs in the air. Small deduction there. Round off back handspring. There's some back tumbling there. One and a half to a front layout. Gorgeous straight lines in the air. And that was an excellent landing. Now all that's left is the score. And there it is, a 9.95 for Savannah Evans. And that'll do it for the Florida Gators. What a performance. And what a way to finish this meet for Florida. The Gators get a 49.375 on floor. That's a season high. And they top that off by finishing this meet and coming off with the victory. There you see the final scores, 196.55 to 196.35. Lori is with the Florida Gators. We saw some great gymnastics from both sides. It came down to the wire, but tonight the win is yours. We're all just so pleased. You know, the team went out there tonight and they hit all of their routines just like we wanted and were extremely aggressive and worked on the landing. And um, we, had a, we had a blast. It was fun. And, uh, you know, it gives them a lot of momentum to finish the rest of the season out strong. You mentioned before the competition that the key tonight might be the landings. Are you happy with the progress there? Absolutely. Especially on vault. That was the biggest area of improvement. We had so many more stuck landings. And that adds up so fast that uh, it really carried the momentum through the rest of the meet. And Savannah, what a fabulous floor team from you. The 995 sealed the win for Florida. You had a fall on one of your athletes right before you went, so you needed at least a 975 to tie or higher to win. Were you nervous? No, ma'am, I wasn't nervous. Uh, I just go out there, I have to show it off, and hit the routine like we know how. Well, congratulations on the win. A very big SEC win tonight. Back to you. Thank you, Lori. Definitely a huge win for the Florida Gators. Getting the team title, but the individual title goes to Alabama's Ashley Miles. What a performance she put on, especially look at those big vault and floor scores. She's standing by with Natalie Taylor. Natalie? Thanks, Jen. Ashley, third all-around title, and it's your first year competing in the all-around. Congratulations, but what's it like? I mean, it's nice to be able to go out there and, you know, even struggle on an event like such as being like I've done the past two meets also and come out on top. So if I can fix that, you know, I'll be uh, well off. 
Well, now talking about the beam, is that the area that you're going to focus on coming into next meet? Definitely. I mean, I didn't get that many numbers out there. You know, I didn't compete it last week, so it's almost like I had to kind of start over in my preparation for it. And this is the first step. And next week we're at home, and I'm sure I'll get lots of beams from Sarah, you know, lots of jobs to do. So hopefully next week I'll be fine. Hey, well, congratulations, Ashley. Third all around. Now back to you, Jen. Thanks. Thank you, Natalie. The Florida Gators upsetting the fourth-ranked Alabama Crimson Tide tonight. Lori, what a win for Florida. We saw some impressive gymnastics from both sides, but a great win for the Gators. They are really setting the pace for a more competitive SEC this year. Absolutely. Some great SEC meets coming your way this season. Well, for Lori Strong-Ballard and Natalie Taylor, I'm Jen Hildreth saying so long from Gainesville. This is 